What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I have an easy question for you. It's part of LeetCode Study Plan SQL 50, part of the select section. So the first one, most basic one, it's called Article Views 1 and it's also called LeetCode 1148. Let's get straight into it. Yeah, so this one's called Article Views. We have a table called Views, which has an article ID, an author ID, viewer ID, and view date, basically storing information about who viewed which article on a website maybe. Our task is to write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles. Return the result table sorted by ID in ascending order and the result format is as follows. So let's go through some examples. We might have an article ID one with author ID three and it was viewed by viewer ID five and six on a specific date. So we didn't have the case where the author viewed their own article yet. Let's find one. We have one here. So for article ID two, that was written by author ID seven and viewed by author ID seven on this specific date. So it would be part of our output along with author ID four. Yes, so kind of took for a moment for me to realize we are outputting the author ID because we're looking for authors that viewed their own article. We're not looking for the article number or ID that was viewed, but the author that checked their own article pretty much. Yeah, so let's think about it and let's get into it. So what we want to select and have as output is the author ID as I just made sure. So we're selecting that from our table views, going through our select from where, group by, order by kind of workflow. And yeah, next step would be to have that where filter. So we want to select authors where pretty much what we just did is we want to check where the author ID matches the viewer ID. That's what I just did, right? I went through the table and checked each entry. So here it's the case that for article ID two, author ID seven viewed, viewer, uh, viewed the article because viewer ID seven is in there. We don't really care about the date, but that's pretty much what we check for. So we say author ID should equal viewer ID. So that's exactly what we're gonna put into our condition. So usually you would check in your word filter whether a author ID might be five. We want to check anything that has author ID five. So let's say maybe article IDs of author ID five, like which articles were written by author ID five. But we can also just compare to another column, in this case, viewer ID, and that pretty much take one row and check different values. So we say, Author ID should be equal to viewer ID. We should we could have higher or lower or other comparisons, but yeah, here we just need to compare two columns within the same table. Yes, so this one seems to do the trick. Another thing we kind of need to make sure of is this first sentence. So we want to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles. So for these two rows down here in our example data, we have author ID four viewing their article three, but we have that entry in, in there twice. So they just checked it twice on the same day. So yeah, if we just did this, if we ran this, we would have several entries. So we would have seven, four and four, but we just want one entry per author ID because we said they should have checked at least once. We don't care how often, just want to have them once in the output. Yeah. So in order to do that, we can use the distinct keyword, which is usually used in the count function. So count distinct author IDs would give us how many different authors are in the data set. But if we just use distinct author ID, it's going to get rid of duplicates in the output. And we're just going to have seven and four in there. So that's going to do that trick. Yeah, so we have that in our output, but it's still not the right solution because we still need to order the result 
based on ID in ascending order. So we're gonna order by that author ID in ascending order. Ascending is the default, so I don't need to add that here, but I do for clarity. And this one should be called just ID. So running that will give us what we want. And if we submit that, it should also be accepted. Awesome. Okay. That's pretty much it for that question. If you want to follow along and also go through the SQL study plan, SQL 50, just follow my playlist on SQL 50. I have other playlists for lead code easy, medium and hard problems. And I also have a playlist for strata stretch plot problems. So be sure to check one of these out. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.